Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. Yeah, so Esau, like the brother said earlier, Esau been hating his brother, man. Since Cain, Cain, uh, Cain and Abel days and uh, reincarnated to uh, Jacob and Esau, man. Esau said, then I will slay my brother Jacob, man. And Jacob is these people right here. It's Esau still doing to this day, man. Every day, every second, every minute, every hour, man. Esau is killing these people mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, man. And, 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 and the sad part about that is, it wasn't like it was nothing. You know, Jacob, that, that word means a supplanter. So, of course, Esau was supplanted, but it was it, it was divinity. It was of the Lord. The Lord planted out the work that way. But going even deeper, Esau sold his birthright to Jacob, our forefather, man. And you know what? This is how you know Esau's the devil, man. Because he sold his, his birthright to Jacob. He get mad about it. He go cry to his daddy about it. And then after, after the whole ordeal, he wait till his daddy die because he know his daddy gonna fuck his ass up if he touch Jacob to try to kill to try to kill Jacob. This is why the Lord gotta kill Esau, man. That's right. That's right. And that go back into what you just said. Our father is gonna kill Esau. That's right. Go ahead. Huh? <laughs> this is Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Right, and that word fornicator, I mean profane. Means with outside the temple, outside of these holy scriptures, and he's saying, "Unless there be any man as profane as Esau, that means that is the mecca of being profane, the so-called white man. You can't get no more profane than him, man." Read. As Esau, who for one more sell of meat, so his birthright. For ye know how, for ye know how that afterward. When he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. Right, he found no place of repentance. And that's why we tell you so-called white people, you cannot be saved. Because you got a blessing, all right? And you have, your, your blessing has come to fruition, man. Your blessing is the sword and the fatness of the earth. Right. And, and you have that. And you, you, have, you have accomplished that. That was your blessing from our forefather Isaac. But our blessing was the kingdom of heaven. What? With an everlasting salvation forever and ever. Sit on that. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Right. Though he sought it carefully with tears, man. Your crocodile tears ain't going to save you, man. It's not going to help you, man. It's there are prophecies in this Bible that still have to come to fruition, man. And you got a part in a lot of those roles. You have to serve hardcore bondage. It's been prophesied and it's going to happen. That's right. That's right. Not because I said it, or not because any of these brothers said it, because it's in the Holy Bible. Uh, Esau, Esau can't be saved. The Lord said Esau can't be saved, but it's a This Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the works of, of God, for who can make that straight which he had made crooked? Right. Esau was made crooked, man. You can't straighten him out. Because we see it day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out time period in, time period out. We see it. You cannot straighten a so-called white man out. Why? Because he was made crooked. That's plain, man. Made by who? The Heavenly Father. If you look at that name Cain, it, 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 it means um destroyer, man. A weapon. That's what the white man was created for, to be the Lord's whipping stick, man. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 17. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction upon them? Yahweh, 
distributed sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as a shaft that the storm carrieth away. Huh. Yahweh layeth up his iniquity for his children. Huh. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Right. And what's, that? what's the wrath for the Almighty? That ICBM nuclear missile, man. That's the wrath for the Almighty. But before that, these race wars that we brought out in Michael 5 and 7, that lion, that young lion, that's going to be tearing you fucking crackers to pieces, man. You crackers got hell to pay, because like the brought out, rejoice and be glad, man. Do what the fuck you do. Continue being a destroyer. A fornicator. Profane person. Keep doing that shit, man. Cause this, this kingdom is on the way out. This shit is finished, man. The most high just putting all the pieces in place, man. And like that breach up breach we read earlier. Soon that breach gonna burst, man. And that's it, man. Ain't no turning back the hands of time. Why? Because the saints been waiting patiently mm -hmm. to receive the promises that the Most High set up, man, that he promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. What? He's already, he's already had his dinner, his fucking dessert. He just, he just waiting on the bill, man. The Most High gonna give him that bill. <laughs> A thousand years of slavery and fucking destruction after that, man. That's uh, all he's all waiting for. Uh, and then, oh, that ain't, you, after them thousand years, yeah, it's getting put in that that, that, that bonfire and you're going to get uh, uh, melted away. And then your spirit is going to come back into these other nations and you're still going to be subject to the higher power. And uh, yeah, right. the, the, uh, the children of God, Yasha Allah, man, the princes of power. That's right. You still, you're going to have to come keep our feast. You're still going to be in subjection to us, man, forever and ever, man. Hey, man. After them thousand years... You know, Esau gonna be running to the fight, he's gonna be grabbing up the whole family. Let's go to our death. And while they jumping in, we're gonna be yelling, hey, y'all yeah, know y'all coming back, right? Oh. They're gonna be like, oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah man. Don't worry about you. Esau, a thousand years burnt up and you come right back. After, after a day of slavery, yeah. Esau is gonna be begging for death. <laughs> after a day. Uh, at, at day it's kill me now, man. Them thousand years not over. I can't take it no more. Yeah, after a few minutes, he's not gonna be begging for this death, man. They're gonna have the calendar with the thousand years on. You know how you do the calendar? Yeah. Oh, you a thousand that. years, they're gonna be X. marking the X's off like, damn, man. We got 900 more years to go. You got damn right, man. And like Elder Gabar always alludes to, man, the time finna slow back down, yep. man. That's the spirit. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> time finna slow back down, man. So a day gonna feel like a millennium, man. He's not gonna be in the fields among his peers. Ah, right, leave, boy. It, been, it feel like we've been in the sun for a thousand years. Was our time up? Hell nah. It's just day one, man. The first hour, motherfucker. They're gonna be praying for them thousand years to end, man. And they're gonna go as slow as possible. That's Sorry. When, that's when they're gonna be calling on. That's when they're gonna really be calling on the most high, man. Praying for those thousand years to be up, man. Come on. And look at it. You. You been putting hell what on our people since what the 1400s, man? And you and all this that you gotta pay for it really wasn't worth it. You fucking devils. And some of our stupid ass people still still wanna be here. He, he saw after a day he don't wanna. Hey man, this this kill me right now. Man. Cause Esau did a poor job of being a slave master. We gonna show you fucking crackers how to be slave masters. That's right. We gonna show you how to enslave people. Slave masters and pit masters. We're gonna barbecue your ass after a thousand years, man. Come. We're gonna be whipping your ass to the bone show, man. That's right. People are scum. You people are the scum of the earth, man. It's only righteous that you get exterminated. You the fucking cancer of the earth, man. The earth is sick because of you fucking people. Hey. You people up in space shitting and pissing in space, man. This John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Right. And that, that's, that's why we hate two-thirds of our people, man. Because 
this white man rulership and what he done the hell he put on our people. If our Lord and Savior don't come back, man, it'd be all hell to pay, man, to this cracker, man. It'll never end. This cracker ain't gonna give up power. Right. So-called white man. Our Lord and Savior, that's how serious it is. Our Lord and Savior gotta come back and take this crack out of power, man. Why? Because he done feminized the men of our nation to the point they don't they don't want to stand for shit. They won't even stand up against today's woman, man. And when they do stand up, they go burn up their own neighborhoods. Our people are sottish, man. Foolish people, man.